We have talked a lot about Nginx in this channel. You know, Nginx is a web server and it's also a proxy where you can uh, make it into a reverse proxy, which acts like a load balancer, a caching layer, and it can also act like a normal proxy, which forwards requests on behalf of the client. And it also can act like a web server. I have my reservations about software that does two jobs, but nevertheless, Nginx is a great piece of software. It's a very popular. And we talked about a lot about this technology in this channel. I'm going to reference the course that we make uh, on YouTube uh, where you want to learn from A to Z in GenX. However, all the videos that I made on this channel about Nginx were essentially installing Nginx physically on whether it's in Windows or Mac. I never made an Nginx video where I actually spin it up as a container, as a lightweight container. And this is what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this video, I'm going to um, uh, show you how to spin up an Nginx container and configure it to be a load balancer for two services that I have here. So first of all, I'm gonna go to Chrome and show you that I have here, I have two services running on my machine here, okay? And uh, I'm using Node.js for those. Reference, I'm gonna reference the video that I did for this. It's essentially a Node.js application that's listening on port 333. And if you literally visit that, it's gonna just return back, hey, the application ID is 3333. And there is another application running on port 2222. And the reason I do this all the time is just to notify the user which application it's accessing. So we're going to show the power of load balancing, right? So I have two applications. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spin up an Nginx container that acts like a load balancer to flip between those two services, right? As a, essentially as a, as a layer 7 load balancer, okay? All right, how about we do that? So first of all, I'm gonna create a folder here called uh, Nginx container, and the, the source code will be available for you guys. I'm not gonna write any code per se, it's just basically a Docker file and some, some uh, configuration. So let's, uh, let's go into the container. So first of all, how about we write the actual configuration that we require right before we worry about the actual spinning up of the container right so i'm going to use vim to write an nginx.conf file from scratch because i like to start always from scratch all right so we're going to configure nginx to be a layer 7 uh load balancer to to flip between to to balance these two services that i have we're going to configure an http context and in this GTB, we're going to listen on one server, and I'm going to pick... And on this server, I'm going to listen on port uh, 8080, okay? And uh, we'll configure an upstream service called all here that essentially have two servers. The first server is points to Hussein Mac on port 2222, as we showed. And the second one, port 333. Hussein Mac is basically my machine, right? So you can as simply use localhost, but you will not be able to run it on other machines in this case, right? So this could be the IP address as well. Once we do that, listening to that, the only thing we need to do is since we're doing a layer seven proxy, we will do, listen to the root slash. And if someone goes to that, I want to proxy pass anything to HTTP all and for some reason uh nginx requires that you have to a blank event here so we're gonna do that because why not right so once you do that we are ready to rock and roll so let's go ahead and write that file okay i'm gonna make this available so the next step which is the easiest part is to actually write the docker file so we can build an nginx image so we can spin up our container. How about we do that? I'm going to create a Docker file here. Obviously, if I can type. <laughs> and then this, this is the simplest part where we're going to pull the image from the official Nginx image and 
the first thing we need to do is basically once before we spin up the container, we want to copy, we want to disregard whatever whatever configuration that comes with this thing and we're going to copy our beautiful configuration instead okay and uh, the location for that is etsy nginx nginx.conf so this will essentially be overwritten with our beautiful configuration that we have written so we're going to save that the final step is to build the container so we have docker file we have the config right which we will run right the next step is to build the container docker build dash t and i'm gonna call it nginx app because why not right dash t basically names the image and then dot that means build whatever inside this current folder and it's gonna look for a docker file right so it's gonna build that stuff and looks like there is an nginx app image that we have built final step is to run the container all right time to run the container in order to do that we do docker run you can optionally give the container a name but i'm not going to do that do dash p to map port 8080 which is running on the container to port 8080 which is running on my host which is hussein mac right this could be anything you want this has to be 8080 because that's what we picked when we listened on the configuration remember and uh Finally, you do nginx app, and just like that, the application should start running anytime soon. All right. Now, if I go to my Chrome and I refresh this page, I am getting that I've been served with from the first application two 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 two. And if I refresh, obviously the next request that comes to the nginx is gonna go to the next service, which is. 3333 three, 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 right find next refresh again it's gonna go to back to 2222 two, two, two. and this is called round robin and we talked about round robin there are many load uh, load balancing algorithm that nginx supports all right this is just one of them okay so that have been nginx on docker hope you enjoyed this video it was a quick and light video i wanted to make this catalog of library of videos that uh, for you guys because you ask me to you ask me it's like hey hussein you always install nginx on your mac but show us how to do it on uh docker so there it is i'm gonna create multiple videos like that like for ha proxy and other stuff as well if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you like it i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome